a database is one of the most complex part of any encrypted application. Today we have a new tool called Chat2DB. It's an innovative AI-driven database management and analysis platform designed to simplify and enhance the way users interact with various database systems. By integrating advanced artificial intelligence capability, Chat2DB enables both technical and non-technical users to manage their database, develop data-driven application, and perform comprehensive data analysis with ease. Today we'll see some of its features, then we'll try it on how it works. This is Ahadit and you're watching Skill Curve. Now, the first uh, feature I would like to tell about is AI-powered SQL generation. ChatGDB allows users to generate complex SQL queries by simply inputting commands in natural language. This feature eliminates the need of extensive SQL knowledge, making database query accessible to broader audience. Yeah, if you are something who is very not much SQL expert, this is one of the features that can help you out. The platform not only generates SQL queries, but also provides optimization suggestion and detailed explanation. I mean, it's ensured efficient and effective database interaction. ChatterDB supports over 24 different databases, including MySQL, Postgres, MongoDB, Oracle, SQ Server, and more. This extensive capability ensures that users can manage multiple database types in a single platform. This platform features a user-friendly interface that simplifies database management tasks. Users can perform operations such as data import, export, table creation, and query execution through an intuitive graphical user interface. ChatterDB leverages AI to analyze data and generate insightful reports and dashboards. Users can visualize and gain real-time insights from their database, facilitating informed decision-making. ChatterDB ensures that users remain secure by keeping it local, only utilizing table structure. The platform employs AES and RSA encryption during the data storage to protect against unauthorized access. The platform also supports team collaboration by simplifying data sharing and enabling Efficient report distribution among team members is features in as productivity and ensures that all the stakeholders have access to the necessary data insights. I mean, this is kind of same as like if you are if you have used some API apps like Postman or something with same collaboration, team collaboration. Users can access chat to DB through web and client application. The web version offers immediate access without installation, while the client application provides a more seamless user experience and is ideal for scenarios where local database connections are required. The platform supports operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac. The best thing is it supports Linux, so most of the developers who are using Linux and Mac, a mostly Unix-based operating system, it's totally for them. There's also an open source version of chat to db by the way, if you want to install it, I don't want to pay for this. You can just simply go to their GitHub me, GitHub or readme page to for the proper instruction on how you can do it. There's also some system requirements before installing chat to db Ensure your system meets the following requirements like this specific Docker version or later, the Docker Compose version or later, at least a two core CPU or more, or at least four GB gigabyte RAM, or maybe more gigabyte RAM. And there's some basic commands to install it and runtime environment, Java, Node. This is all just basic requirements to install the chat to uh, DB. Uh, you can see all clicking on the download open source version file, you can get to uh, the basic uh, zip files for Mac, uh, ARM 64s, and different uh, Linux files. So you can just download the source code and extract it to use it. Now this is the main interface of uh, chat to db after installing it. For now I'm using it right now in Windows. On the clicking on the logo you will go to the settings of this chat to db application. Looks like it developed on Electron technology. It's, it's pretty smooth by the way. Now you can see the themes, light, dark and operating system theme. You can choose the color yellow, black. This is editor setting. If you are a VS Code fan you can check your how your syntax is gonna look like. Uh, what color they're gonna use it. If you believe in shortcut style, like you are, if, if you're a big fan of shortcut, you can just change your shortcut and adjust it in your own ways. So now this is the main workspace. If you're clicking on a plus sign, you can see the new group, new connection, import connection. If you want to import the connection, you can import connections from various applications like chat DB, DB Beaver, Data Grip, Navicad, and community connections. With the new connection, there are so many database. One by one, let me show you. The fun one is MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, SQL. Even some are some of the databases are very underrated. You have not even heard of. Like Redis is a cache. MongoDB is one of the NoSQL option if you want to play with NoSQL databases. MongoDB is a very popular bet. 
now install to one you can click on mysql now for example now you can select your settings like localhost and port and password routes and make sure you always download the driver here for now you cannot see download driver button but if you are new to this you, there will be a download now button of drivers after clicking it you, your drivers will be installed after that just you have to simply click on the test button for now you can see in this example there is so many tables which is demo like product purchase order sales order you can click on ai data collection and create your no new ai data collection you can name it as demo for now for tutorial purpose but you can just connect your database sync your database which you recently created like ai data collection after that you can select your tablets the rows the columns that you wanted to and add them to your ai data collection now you have a lot of collection in your demo side you can see on the screen now you can just uh, simply add some comment on it if you want to. Now this is the text to SQL feature where now you will write some uh, natural language and the, and the AI will convert it into an SQL command. Let's see for example I've selected demo data and click on the run button. Now you can see simply a command is being run uh, by the AI. You can even uh, run so simple commands like list all of the best selling products and the command will be on your screen. So it's a very interesting project. You can even use dashboard. Dashboard is a is a, is a way to you know visualize your uh, different uh, insights of your database to get an idea of how your data is growing, how it's looking like, the growth or the insights. Select your demo data and for example the data you want to see. Now you can see the blue graphs of different graphs which is pie graph and different kind of uh, growth graph and list of the data that you wanted to see. You can for example select a query and you can click on right click and SQL will explain, the AI will explain what this query does. For example if you want to learn SQL more in depth detail, you can even optimize the query like for example if you want to optimize the database for less uh, queries you can just optimize it with the help of AI. For example if you want to create a table you can uh, name it like for example customer you can uh, you can add some column like what will be id gender date of birth and the ai will create all the tables so it's, it's a very good tool you know if you are uh, someone who is suffering from uh, different sql anxiety you don't want to write sqls manually you are an orm person so this will, ai will definitely help you to cope from this there is also an ai chat feature which help you to directly talk to a database so if you're a person uh, who have uh, worked with LangChain such technology then you already know what I am trying to talk about. You can talk to your personal database, the entities, the different columns. With the help of AI you can use text to SQL feature. For example create a student table that includes name, gender, age, home address, email and phone number. You can use SQL applications, optimization. Optimization helps you where you want to optimize the query so your uh, the expenses of database will be less. chat to db represents a significant advancement in database management and analysis by integrating AI capabilities to streamline operations and make data interactions more accessible. Its comprehensive feature set combined with a focus on security collaboration makes it a valuable tool for organization aiming to leverage their data assets effectively. So this was the entire thing about Chat2DB. Don't forget to like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe if you want more such content.